Hey, welcome to Ones and Zeros. My name's Ben, and today we're just doing a bit of a channel update video. Uh, it's been a while since I put out any videos on the channel, and part of the reason for the bit of a delay is because I've now moved into a new place. So, as you can see around me, things look a little bit different than they have in previous videos. So I've got a much better space set up now to be able to produce videos and get into some more advanced stuff as well. Um, as well as having, you know, cool LED set up and projector to put the logo or other images on the wall, cool stuff like that. So with the move, it's meant that I've got all of my equipment now in one place. So that's a big benefit. And now having, you know, access to my soldering irons and lab power supply and all of that sort of stuff in the same place where I'm actually making the videos means that we've actually got a bunch more stuff that we're going to be able to do. So there will be more videos starting from next week. Um, we'll have some more of our current series, the STM32 Basics, Discovering STM32, you know, FPGA Basics series, and a few others. There will also be some new series which will be starting, um, which there will be more information coming out shortly. Um, but a bit of a teaser is one of the projects that we're going to be looking at involves this guy, which is a six-legged robot. Um, basically the shell and the 20 servos that make it move. So I'm in the process of actually developing a bit of a brain for it. Um, already got a working inverse kinematic system so that you can actually tell it to put its toe on a particular point in 3D space. So all of that's working. And I've actually got... <clears throat> some of the hardware and code being tested at the moment. Excuse me, losing my voice already. Haven't done a video for a while. So if we take a look on the bench at the moment, um, we can see we've got a H7 Nucleo board um, that's running at about 480 megahertz, and that is doing the inverse kinematic stuff at the moment, and basically replaying a keyframed sort of movement and we've got the FPGA over here, which is actually running all of the servo controllers in hardware simultaneously. So all 20 of those servos will be getting controlled simultaneously by that, as well as we're going to be implementing a bunch of additional stuff for the robot in FPGA. So it's going to be fairly hybrid in between what we do with the FPGAs and what we do with the actual STM32s and also ESP32s, which is something that we haven't seen too much of on the channel so far. Um, but if we jump over to this one, we can take a bit of a better look at the lab so that you can get a bit of an idea of the sort of space that I generally work in. So got my two main coding machines, uh, my two laptops, sitting there. So a pair of i7s, 16 gig of RAM, um, half decent graphics, SSDs, you know, nice specs to be able to write code with. And then we've got the bench, which has got my scope, which we've seen in previous videos, as well as lab power supply, some additional monitors that can be hooked up via VGA to FPGAs or used for other purposes as well and the soldering stations and stuff like that over on the right there. We've also got, as you could see in the background from the other shot, we've got the stuff sitting on the shelves. Sorry for all the shaky camera work, but it just gives you a bit of a better look around than I can do from the other camera angles. So basically got all of our hardware sitting there so that we've got ready access to all of that. I like to have a setup where basically everything I need, all of my tools, equipment, everything, parts, is all pretty much within arm's reach. So that's kind of the way I have everything set up. And as a result, it gives us a lot of opportunities to be able to look at some more interesting stuff. So I've really been enjoying doing the videos up to this point and look forward to releasing a whole bunch more. Um, some of the stuff I've been working on in the last few days as far as the robot with the inverse kinematics and a bunch of other things. There's some really cool things that I think people are going to enjoy in videos, so hope you look forward to that. 
Um, thank you to all of the people that have been supporting the channel so far. It was really awesome to see that even while not making videos, not having the, the chance to be able to do that, that there's been even more subscribers and people watching the videos. That's really awesome. Um, a huge thank you to the patrons. So up there in the corner, thank you guys for helping support the channel. I think it's awesome that uh, people are helping to allow me to continue to do what I'm really enjoying doing. So, and thank you for all of the awesome comments and everything that people have been leaving on the videos as well. That really does mean a lot. Hope you all have a wonderful day or morning or evening or whatever it is in your part of the world where you are watching this. And hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.